We're going to give you a short how to on installing one of these Carter diaphragms on the six screw small small body a little over three inches across to the outside of it. A lot of people having problems because the diaphragm is a little bit bigger the original the the replacement is a little bit bigger than what you're taking out and I'll show you why it really isn't and how to put the new one in let's get this old one off and I'll show you underneath it Now you can see right now the diaphragm's lined up with the holes. Can't see it, but I can. See how this is raised up like this? If we were to pull this down and flatten this out, the holes the holes in the diaphragm would be outside of the this area outside of where they have to go. And I'll show you what I do. Let me get this all apart. And I'll get a new diaphragm in there. This is the new one. I set it on here and I can show you that. Yeah, it's a half a hole outside. You might not get a diaphragm like that, you'll get one that looks like this. And as you can see, it's half a hole outside. Which the first thing you're going to say is, it's too big, I got the wrong diaphragm. Well, you don't. And I'll show you how to take care of that. I'll be right back. Here's how I can't stand working with a dirty fuel pump. I figured I'd do the rest of this, rebuild the whole thing while I'm at it. And I'll show you how our valves go in, in case you're a little confused. What you're going to get in the, in the kit is probably three of each of these. The spring, the disc, and the rivet. You assemble them, take the rivet, put the spring on it, slide it all the way down, put the disc on it, get it stuck in the hole. This is where it's handy to have a punch. Line it up with the hole, make sure it's in that, and just tap it. You'll see it coming, your spring come in contact with the disc. This is how far you want it to come through. And it's about a 32nd of an inch. Anywhere in that area is good. Even level is fine. put the rest of it together. These diaphragms, the pulsated diaphragm, you want this area to cover up this area. That fuel is going to go in here. It's going to come in, go down through here, go out through this hole, it'll run into this, and spit it out the out, and send it up to the carburetor. Hopefully before you took us apart you did like I did and you mark it whether it's a cut. These will only go on one way. To test it just blow air in through here. If it's on wrong the air will go in and it will stop.
and that will tell you that it's in incorrectly. Line it up. Put the two screws in. Make sure these are good and tight. You don't need a leak in between these two castings. Another thing that I just didn't do, which should be done, is these surfaces should be flattened out. Put it on a belt, a belt sander. Run a file across it. Blow air in, it should go with no problem. Try sucking air back out and you shouldn't be able to do it. Same thing with here. This is the out, so you should be able to suck air out, but not blow it in. And that'll tell you that it's... If it'll do those two things, it'll tell you that it's working right. Now our diaphragm... Where's the original one? This is the original diaphragm. the seal that's on it. This is what you'll get in the kit. Looks a little different at the top. The seal's a little different. But it does the same thing. Once this gets pulled down inside, the seal comes in contact with the fatter part of the die and the pull rod. <clears throat> and if you were to measure it from underneath here to this plate it would be the same as underneath here to the plate. It lets you know that you got the right diaphragm, the right length pull rod. <clears throat> now what we want to do is take this assembly, push it down inside. The arm has a fork on it I'm not sure whether you can see it or not, but down inside there is the other end of that, and you hook it on. Okay, once you get that arm hooked in there, slide the pin in, looking down inside here, you can see the hole. Line it up with it and with a little luck you can slide it right through. Just keep trying, you'll get it. Shove it all the way down. Put the plug in. Put your spring on. Almost ready. Okay, like I mentioned earlier, if you line this up with it, what you're going to see is the holes aren't lining up. If I line up one on this side, oops. get that lined up right there. Look how far off that hole is. It's not a problem. Here's how we take care of that. Take one screw, run it through the casting, run it through the hole in the diaphragm. Maybe I should take this camera off of here. Hang on a second. Now let's see if this helps.
if you have one of these, a little small screwdriver, uh, a popsicle stick, uh, I don't know, anything, anything that you can use to push in there. Push the diaphragm in, line up the screws. All you're doing is pushing it in a little bit. You're not stabbing it. Use the side of the screwdriver to push it in. Another way to help bring that diaphragm in would be grabbing the arm Pull the arm up. As you can see the diaphragm moving. That'll pull it in some. Now the next step is pretty important, especially on these Carter pumps. Get something that you can put on the arm. I use an adjustable wrench. Sit it on the arm. Give yourself some leverage. Pull it all the way till it stops. Hold it there. Tighten the screws. Now, as you can see, that little see that spot right in there. As long as the diaphragm isn't folded over itself. It's fine. It'll flatten out. That's the only thing you got to watch for. Make sure it's not folding over on itself. A little ripple is all right. Not wine. Let that drink right now. Good and tight. Put your thumb over it. You'll feel it suction. If you can pull that right up, if you can pull the arm right up. And that doesn't happen. There's a leak somewhere. Oh. Pull it up, put your thumb over the outlet, and let it go. That'll tell you you sealed that way also. <clears throat> Another small test to make sure that this, the oil seal is sealing. This tube right here is a vent, and there's a hole up inside of here. Some of them have them in uh, different places. Um, block it off and try pulling the arm up. If you feel resistance, you'll feel it trying to suck your fingers in. That tells you it is a good seal. Don't forget to put the plug in. This pump's ready. That's it. Any questions? Give me a call.